Hi, in today's video I'm going to be covering a bug with MPV where it only plays the video track of YouTube videos. I'll show you what I mean. So I was in Newsboat looking at my RSS feeds for uh, YouTube channels and I came across to Adam Pearson and could go to play the video and it starts up in a second and there's no audio and I think, oh you donut, you've uploaded a video without any audio. So I'll come across to YouTube. Hey guys, and welcome back to... So there is audio. But then what happens is, I think, that's a bit odd. And I come across to Rubenstein's channel. Same deal. Go to play the video. And there's no audio. And that's really weird. So what I do is I come across, grab the URL, and put it in MPV to see what's going on. So, set of MPV. Okay, and I'll stop it. And what you'll see here, it's only listing a video track. It's only playing the video. Now, YouTube videos actually are separate audio and video streams, which are then combined to play them together. If you look at this, it's got this EDL source, EDL, whatever, in the URL. So, the issue is that for some reason, MPV, which uses uh, YTDLP um, in the back end to play videos, is failing to get the audio stream and it's just playing the video. Now, this bug affects the latest version of YTDLP, which is 2023-0304. So that's the latest version of YTDLP, which as I said, um, MPV uses in the back uh, in the back end. So what I did was came up with a solution for this, and it's two parts. So what I have is a script called Sauron, which is a FZF menu that I can launch um, from within things like Newsboat. So when I come into Newsboat, I can come into here, and I wanted to see this St James's Park helicopter tour. It sounded pretty cool. So I hit a keyboard shortcut and it brings up this menu to actually do different things like copy the URL, open it in the browser, um, play the video full screen on the second display, etc. So what I did was I came up with a new script, which I'm calling from the Sawn FCF menu. So this script is called dash FFmpeg. And what it does is it combines dash audio and video streams with FFmpeg and then pipes them into MPV. And the dependencies are FFmpeg, MPV, and AUK. And basically, the way we run this script is we call it dash F dash def dash dash FFmpeg dash I and then the URL. So this bit is just basically error checking and get ops. So I'll switch down to the important bit down here. This is the dash function. So what we're doing is we're taking the URL. So this variable here, URL, we have ytdlp-g um, and then input. And the input is the URL you pass to the script with the dash i option. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to print out the, um, the URL is actually going to contain the links for the audio and video streams. So what we then do is we use awk to grab the first stream because the stream the, the URLs are separated by a new line. So what we do is we echo, we echo the URL we got into awk and the first one um, before the new line, is the video URL and the second is the audio URL. So now what we have is we have two variables, video URL and audio URL. First one containing the video track, the second one containing the audio track. So what we then do is use FFmpeg with the dash RE option. And what that does is it sort of reads it real time. And we give it two inputs, the, the video URL and the audio URL. We copy the codex across, tune zero latency. This is the important thing. We then map the streams. We set FF and we create a uh, the format that we're outputting to is a Matroska and we're sending it to a pipe. So what this does is 
this basically uses FFmpeg, take the two streams, combine them into one, and then pipe them into MPV. So let's have a look at how that works now. So what we're going to do, again, we'll grab the URL here. We'll try and play it with MPV. No audio. Um, so what actually I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, remove this section uh, full screen one uh, for the demo purposes and I'll stick it back later because otherwise it's going to play on the second um, display. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll do the same thing. Copy the URL and we'll run dash ffmpeg dash i give it the URL. What we'll see we have audio. Okay. So we managed to fix the problem. So what we'll do now is switch across to Newsboat. Come in here. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit a keyboard shortcut, which is going to call the Sauron FZF menu. Like dash. And you can see we had the um, audio playing. So that's basically the gist of it. Um, that's the, the bug. It affects uh, YTDLP 2023-03-04. And basically what happened with MPV is that it's only grabbing the first um, URL, the video URL. So little VCAT, we'll go through the Sauron script here. These are all functions um, that show up in the FCF menu. And what we've got here is this one dash. Basically what it does is it prints out the URL and calls the dash script. So then in the dash script again, apart from the error checking, this is the main gubbins of the script. This is the function that gets called down here. So the URL, the input is from the get ops so you can see get ops dash i input equals opt arg that's the argument that you're passing to the option so dash i is going to be um going to have a variable called input which is going to be equal to the url basically so input is the url so what we do <coughs> we create a variable called url We use YTDLP with the dash G option to print out the um, the actual stream links. That's the video and audio stream links. We set the no playlist option as well. And basically what we then do is we echo the URL into ORC. Uh, the first chunk of code, the first URL is going to be before the line break so that's the video url the one after is the audio url we take ffmpeg we hide the banner um we set it not to show any stats or anything <clears throat> re for real time give it the video url the audio url copy the streams tune tune zero latency map the streams format matroska pipe Pipe it into MPV. You can see the little dash here. No terminal FS. So that's full screen. So once we do that, if I again come back here, you can see I play it. And if I run pgrep ffmpeg, you'll see ah oh, ffmpeg still going bad. Uh,